Hello again, welcome back to Asgard, and welcome back to Craft to Exile. Uh, so since the last episode, I have done a little rearranging. You'll notice less chests in here. As I mentioned, I was going to get things a little bit more organized for us, so uh, we do have food in there. We've got kind of tools and bee stuff in there, uh, saplings, seeds, and then if we head on over to here... Um, I have set up a little drawer system, a little very, very small drawer system. I'm actually out of wood at the moment, uh, so that's kind of where I stopped uh, at the moment. Since we're getting most of our wood just from scavenging uh, through these ruins. Now, what I would like to do today, um, I would really like to work on heading to the Bumble Zone, but to do that, we're going to have to get diamonds. Uh, I think right now, all I've got is like a couple, like one. <laughs> Just one diamond? I haven't locked those chests yet, I will. Uh, once we get a little bit more wood so I can make upgrades. Uh, so I think what we're going to do, since I'm not planning on mining a, a, like a tunnel down, instead I'm planning on just exploring to get uh, down to diamond layer. Um, actually, that is the way down. Hmm. Let's go... Oh, these are all so broken up. I guess I should have brought some blocks. Yeah, let me go get some blocks real quick. Um, now, chances are, since all the mobs around here are level 3, we're not going to get great XP uh, from doing this, but uh, we will be able to, get, to pull out some loot uh, as we do this, which I think kind of makes it worth it. Let me uh, back off there just a little bit. Um, make sure all this is lit up. Uh, so XP will be kind of meh, but uh, but the loot and just getting this dug down uh, to where we can access the lower layers where all the ores and stuff are that we're going to want, um, I think it's going to make it worth it. So We have nether stuff, plus I kind of want to see how these lower stages of the dungeon uh, end up being for us, so. Wow, this wing is actually pretty big. Not to mention I'll get some uh, free chests out of this. Because I burned through all the chests that we picked up uh, while exploring, so we'll just do some quick exploration today. Um, that might end up being most of the episode, honestly, but uh, we'll try to get through Hopefully the rest of this roguelike, or close to it. Um, let's see, what do we got in here? And hopefully pull out some decent loot from this as well. This axe should be, like, just about to break uh, right now, so. Hey. Hey. saw that creeper though but I don't think he saw me okay this floor I'm just gonna let it be <laughs> um, because we've got a lot of places where the cave is kind of poking through that's fine this area oh rare ore see that alone that kind of stuff is gonna make it well worth it I think uh, to go down these floors even though like I said the XP is not great uh, you can see we are maybe getting like 50 XP per kill. It's pretty bad, honestly, but it is actually pretty easy though as well. So, hey -ah. And there's a chance we might find some loot out of here uh, that's like half decent maybe. XP rings or something to that effect, maybe. I think there's probably a spawner back in here that's causing the, the spawns. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. With how much cave intersection that there is through here, I wouldn't doubt it. Okay, so that wing is actually cleared out. I'm out of uh, torches. 
So let me pop up, get a few torches, and dump off the stuff that we have gotten so far. Uh, just to try to keep our inventory a little bit clean. I also wouldn't mind making a drawer controller today. Uh, that would be actually quite nice. But I think we'll use dump chests a little bit here. That is a level 6 axe. Not as good as what we got, but... Rare leather helmet, golden chest plate. We got a ring with energy regen. Uh, it is Tree of Life set, uh, but it's a level 1, so it's probably not that great, really. I'm actually very low on coal at the moment, too, so may have to mine a little bit of that today uh, at some point, just if we come across it or something like that. Maybe grab some. Woo! Oh! I did not even realize this had Spice of Life. Uh, so we got a couple... Well, we got a couple extra hearts. Um, I think it bumped us up to 150. I don't think we had 150 uh, life. Bridge this gap. Wow. This cave has ripped through this dungeon quite a bit. Actually. Uh, let's go this way first. No, don't do it. Don't do it. Okay. Now, at this point, we probably do need to start watching for trap chests because as we get lower and lower, uh, they tend to be more and more common, I think. I love all this, though. And we're getting some redstone. That's the only thing that's holding me back from making a drawer controller right now uh, is a lack of redstone. So, And this ore, it's like, yeah, we're not going to get great XP, but we do need... Basically, just as much as leveling, we do need the ores and stuff. So, that is okay by me. I've got uh, this guy coming up. There we go. Okay. Oh, missing texture plant from the guy dimension. Okay. Sure thing. Hey, look at all the redstone. Oh, but it's going to shut off the lights. Eh, it's not a big deal. We're going to take it. <gasps> oh, gosh. That could have been bad. I don't want to skip floors like that. I don't want to fall through and end up further down. Okay, let's take this spawner next. Aha. And just kind of keeping an eye out for trap chests. Of course, by the lock on the front here, it'll be kind of it'll be surrounded by a little bit of red. Uh, also, it'll show up in uh, Wayla or whatever. Uh, is this one probe or Wayla? I can't really tell. Um, it'll show up and as a trap chest if it is one. Okay. Let's take this. Awesome, we're not getting too many spawns here. Getting a few torches and a little bit of coal. Uh, that works. Ideally, I'd like to get our uh, a lot of our resources, like I said, just from exploring um, and just kind of plowing through these roguelikes and whatnot. Uh, so this is the last wing on this floor, and then we'll be down to the third floor. I think generally they're going to be, what, five floors for roguelikes? So we do still have a little bit, but we can actually go through these pretty quickly at this point. Uh, most of the mobs are two shots uh, with our fireballs, so. Alright, All right, let's go ahead and push on down. But the fact that we found some rare ore on this floor makes me hopeful for the later floors. Looks like this floor is cut away a little bit as well. Uh, but doesn't look quite as bad. We're gonna go this side first. I think. Need to make a new pick. That's the floor down. Oh! We found our very first Lycanite! And it is super powered pinkies, it would appear. Uh. Oh, there's actually a chest over there. Okay, I'm going to take this nice and slow because that is like a big pit of death, to be honest. Uh, 
But they should be two blocks wide. They're not going to be able to get through right here. Veteran Ash and Pinky. Yeah, they're, they're still level threes, though. This one got a bit of health. Because uh, it got a buff from being a veteran pinky, as well as being a rare type of pinky. So, you can kind of get double buffs on these uh, Lycanite's mobs. Oh, wow. Elite Scarlet Pinky of Mountains. Got a lot of health, but... I Oh, man! Our first death! Ha-ha! Okay. Well, we knew it was going to happen at some point. I was trying to get in there to shut that spawner off, and that just did not happen. Okay. Those pinkies are going to be tough, though. Um, especially when they spawn. That one, that one was another, uh, like, unique kind that was buffed up. So, of course, it doesn't help that I'm wearing level 1 armors. Uh, I should probably just... I was like, well, I'm going to wear these until they degrade, but uh, I should probably go ahead and upgrade a little bit here on my armor. Um, because we should have some better, much better things. So, I mean, realistically, we actually don't have, like, super great stuff in terms of armor. Most of our armor is kind of meh. Uh, that's not, like, level 11 requirement. Okay, there's some small little upgrades there. Um, more like around 5 to 7 range uh, on our armor, so that should be sufficient. Now, technically, these pinkies are not part of the roguelike, but there is a chest down there. It's like a lycanite little dungeon or something. Uh, let's go ahead. Ooh. Yeah, these guys are starting to wear, like, diamond... Is that... Yeah, that's diamond armor there. It does seem like the shield blocks, uh... No, we are taking a little bit of damage from it. Oh, we got diamond armor. And we found cave spiders, which we have a quest for that, actually. Oh, I cannot hit him. There go. At least this pack has keep inventory. I mean, that's like a big plus there. Rotten Eskimos. Yeah, we had a quest for those, right? Man, they are... Oh, that one's an elite. Super Eskimo. Oh, I gotta get to that spawner. Oh, uh, you know what, though? I got excited about, uh... Oh. I got excited about coming across that, uh... Oh, gosh. This is bad. Boom! Okay. Not that bad, I guess. Got mobs coming up from the pits of hell there. But I got excited about the uh, the diamond armor, but it's actually not that exciting because I can't use it. So. We are now... Oh. How did you not... Uh, take damage from that. <sighs> I need coal bad. Right now. Well, that's fine. I don't necessarily have to light this up. What is this? Uh, it requires level 21. It's unfortunate. Very, very unfortunate. Oh, I want to get up to level 11. Oh, we did get a diamond, though. Let me... Rare Prismatic Ashen Pinky of Doom. Oh, God. Arachnon back in there. I want to get to that chest, but of course I don't have any torches left. Ah! 
Oh god. Let's kill this thing. There we go. It's dead. I don't know what it dropped. But it looks like a bracelet. I think we can make the run for it. That could potentially be worth it. Okay. There we go. And we'll leave that spawner there. Because we might... I mean, if we cook this pinky mate, we're going to get uh, cooked pinky mate. I wonder if... Yeah, it's, it does say it provides strength. So that means the buffs are active on this. So that would give us a strength buff. Uh, it's unfortunate, though, that there's not going to be anything that, like, say, boosts intelligence. Because that would make awesome food if we, there was something that we could eat that would boost intelligence or something like that. Okay, now I really need to mine up this coal, like, in a bad sort of way. Either that or I need to go smelt wood, which I don't really have much wood. Because I'm relying on scavenging more than anything. Oh, we did lose all of our XP. That's unfortunate because we were almost to the point of, like, the enchanting range. Uh, to start enchanting. Of course, this pack does have apotheosis, so we could do higher level enchants, but just getting some level 30 enchants would be awesome. Uh, of course, this pack, you're still, regardless of what you get as far as enchants, you're still going to be switching gear a lot. Um, oh, yep. That is actually the entrance to the bottom floor. Anytime you see netherrack down inside one of or uh, nether bricks, like at an entrance like that, then that means that uh, that's going to be the entrance to uh, the bottom floor. So, quite exciting stuff. Okay, let me get a nice stack of torches. And we did get a little bit more rare ore. I do love seeing that. Uh, this is a bracelet with bonus XP 11%, secondary uh, with 7% frost resist, and chaos stats for lightning atronach. Uh, plus 12% lightning spell damage multi. Huh, okay. I think that's uh, not as much bonus XP. I don't feel like the frost resist and the lightning atronach are that important for me. I mean, I don't deal any lightning damage anyhow. Uh, so let's just put that away for now. Okay, so let's head down this way. Oh, I hear, I think an arachnid. I think so. That is a hunger spawner. Alright. God, these floors. The way they break up like this. It does make navigating them a, a little bit painful sometimes. Uh, but we are finding some nice stuff down here. So, scale mail is level 11 also, or chain mail. Uh, so, we're not going to be able to rock that at the moment either. And let me shut off that water. Hey, now! Ah! What have we got? Ender pearls. A lot of diamond horse armor as well. Um, that's one thing we do need to get up and going is uh, a horse with an ocarina. Because that would actually be quite useful. Especially for exploring further out. Now one thing I'm not sure about is can we... We can get diamonds uh, if we go through the create method there. Uh, we can get diamonds from that horse armor. Let me check. No. Uh, okay, there's the spawner. I was thinking these rooms have some spawners in them. At least one. More ender pearls. I like that too. Um, as we get further down, we're going to see more diamonds, more ender pearls, and more 
other things other useful things like that okay so I think that's this wing done at this point so we've only got one wing left here I'll go ahead and just block that off have I not done any durability to this thing okay Ugh. that is a far drop I'm gonna fill this floor in a little bit uh, okay uh, let's see there's usually not any loot in this this is just like a fountain room um, yeah, it looks like that's the case on here too. It seems like these spawners activate from pretty far off. Rare feral wolf. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Say blocks of lapis. Uh, da, 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 let's go this way. Oh, that's a stray. I didn't even notice. I thought it was a zombie, to be honest. Okay, let's see if we can get this. There's a spawner in the middle of that tomb. But I think this is actually the end of this little path. No, I don't want to get knocked off. Oh, looks like our stray friend fell down though. Now, is there treasure in... Yeah, there's treasure inside of here. Okay. Just light this up a little bit. Oh, wow. 25 common ore. I know it's common ore. It's actually not that crazy to get that much, but... Hey. Let's get out of here. Oh, right. hey! You do not care about light levels. Doesn't look like. Oh, we got an unbreaking three efficiency three pick. Still no damage on this. This is insane. How good the unbreaking is proving to be on this golden pick. Uh, whoops, I. You guys are going to have to stop. Oh, we got a head. That's uh, Better Animals Plus, by the way. I've got this Entails. Uh, or better, I think it's just Better Animals, right? Better Animals Plus does the uh, the, mo the animal textures. And I think it adds a couple additional animals. I can't remember. I've got both of them Entails, so. They've been in there since the dawn of Tails. Uh, okay, I think this is safe enough. Ah, okay, this is just a dead end. All right, so we're going to head back. That's everything for floor three. Uh, so we'll be moving down to the bottom two floors, which tend to be the toughest. Uh, usually I have, a, I have the luck of having a lot of catacombs on the second to last floor, which means a whole lot of skeletons. Also an easy way to get wither skeleton skulls, though. So there is that. I'm going to block this off for now and I'm gonna head up because our backpack's full I mean we've got the storage crates um, but we're not that far down to be honest and uh, we're getting a lot of loot we're pulling up a lot of loot at this point so that's this side and actually while we're up here let's go ahead and just make ourselves a batch of identify tomes because uh, we are gonna need these and uh, what did I do with my other ones did I put them in miscellaneous Oh no, I think I left them over there with the gear. I'm going to put these in there though. And we are going to get uh, some uncommon ore, a wisdom crate, and 6,750 XP. This is actually going to level us. 
Uh, let's go ahead and level first. There we go. Yeah, you can see we don't get the carryover. So if we go, like, for example, if we had popped 6,000 XP when we only needed like 100, we would only get 100. Uh, so something to bear in mind. We did need most of that, so popping it there, it was not a big deal. But uh, what do we get? Orb of Vitality, which requires level 13 for stamina and health. And uh, Unidentified Rare Cloth Hat for level 8. Uh, that is something that I wouldn't mind going ahead... And just identifying Magic Shield 17, 16 armor, 4.9 Magic Shield, 3.6 dodge rating, and it's part of the Healer's Robe set for heal power. Um, and there is also, I know there's a repair station that we can make. I don't know if we can make it just yet, though. Um, I am going to go ahead and switch out shields also, because mine's starting to get a little bit worn down at the moment. We'll just go with, uh, like this one. It's a level 9, looks good. Uh, so we're up to level 10 now. Great. Uh, what do we need to go with? We need to get two stat points. Let's go... Um, I feel like I'm going to have to start pumping just a little bit of strength soon. But uh, Let's go with um, a point into intelligence. Get that damage up just a little bit more. And I'll tell you what. Let's just go two points. Let's make it an even 10. Even 10, that's 4.3 percent extra elemental spell damage we're up to 14 intelligence so not bad uh for our spells let's buff there and let's buff uh oh we actually have enough to get steam cloud now emit steam from your body to damage nearby enemies for a while lava quake converts physical weapon damage to fire and you damage enemies in front of you i tell you what we haven't gotten fire bombs yet let's go ahead and take fire bombs because i feel like uh I'm not for sure, but I feel like that's going to be kind of nice. And let's put it right there. Uh, and then for our talents, we did get one point. So we can take uh, our first plus 3% spell damage. By the way, drawers don't display values on here, uh, which is kind of strange, but uh, it's whatever. It doesn't matter that much, but we can't see how much is in a drawer unless we pull it out. Let's try... Aha! Uh -huh. That's kind of nifty. It's basically like our uh, weapon blitz, except with bombs. We will take it. This is my least favorite floor, by the way. Always. Uh, well, I don't know. The bottom floor is pretty bad, usually. Uh, let's be real. But this floor tends to be a lot like this, where you're kind of like fighting through all these vines. And it tends to make things a lot harder because of that. I know that there was a... Well, that didn't do a whole lot. Okay. I'm seeing gold ore down here, so... Where is that? Oh! Don't mind him. He's just hanging out in the ceiling there. Oh, we got ore. And we got diamond boots that we're not going to be able to use for a while, but we did get them. Yeah, if this was like of level stuff, we would be getting so many levels out of here, but of course it is not. I think the, what is it, the um, Craft of Exile Harmony stuff would be leveling with us, but on here it's you have to progress further um, to get it, I think. Because I think, I think that's how, that's one of the differences between dissonance and harmony. Okay, so this was actually two paths in one. Uh, but we didn't explore this direction. Hey. Hey there, chest. You got a diamond. We will take you. Okay. I like it because we're really not struggling on ore anymore at this point. Let me go ahead and get some more torches too. Let's rush it down. All right. I hear a wolf dying somewhere. That's okay by me. Oh, I love this. This is just great. Like, 
there actually is more of the dungeon over there. Oh my gosh, I don't like that at all. That's just like screaming for something to knock me off. Okay, I see that spawner. I'm going to try to rush it. Let's do this. Ha <laughs> ha! Of course, it's a channel spell, so it's a little bit... can be a little bit more tricky. Another thing we have to watch out for is trolls, too. As we get farther down here, we, it's possible we could run into some Ice and Fire trolls. Uh, which isn't great, but I don't know about... Usually their crafted armor is actually extremely good in most packs. Um, and I think it's often overlooked. We've used it in a few packs. Uh, now on here, I know it's not really incentivized to use crafted armor. Uh, oh, I need to deal with you just in case. But it could potentially be pretty good. But that's the end of that path. So we've done two of the three paths already. Sometimes these, the second to last floor generates and it's very, very small. Like this one's kind of generating in a way that seems like it's going to be kind of small. Um, but sometimes they generate and they are literally massive. Like they feel like they go on forever. Um, I can't get around to there. I mean, I can, but... I hear some pinkies. Something's coming up uh, oh, right there. You know, we haven't found a single trap chest. I know used to, back in the days of like, what, 1.7? Lycanite's dungeons tended to have a lot more trap chests, it seemed like. Um, and I know the last time I really went through many roguelikes, which I think was like, RL craft maybe there wasn't there wasn't as many it seemed like um, hey now so many vines nothing there Inventory fills up so fast. Of course, I'm looting everything. Now, the next floor is going to have all the bestest treasures, though. So, we do have that to look forward to. All right, I'm going to have to take a quick... Uh, let's, let's go ahead and clear out, because I think this is maybe... No, it's not the last room. But it is a room. Ah. Ooh. That was close. There's a chest behind that. Yeah, forget about those chests behind those spawners in these, these rooms. But I do actually need these guys. Um, there we go. Quest complete. Eight legs. Perfect. Veteran Creeper with a ton of health. Uh, can I get these out real quick? And hopefully I'll be safe enough back here to do this. Now we got a pretty cleaned out backpack. So, Alright. Uh, do we just want to maybe knock that spawner out? Might have to get a new melee weapon uh, after this dungeon I think. Oh, we got some uncommon ore. That's great. Let's go ahead and... Okay, well, that's it. Um, I still remember back... Okay, back whenever our, uh, Roguelike Dungeons first came out. Forever ago, right? Uh, back then, it, it felt like, anyways, that Roguelike was a little bit harder. Um, maybe because it was new. Of course, it was in... 
RL craft, but that pack was not very balanced. It was one of those kind of where it's hard up front and not hard after about 20, 30 minutes of playing usually. Uh, oh gosh, veteran wither skeleton. But uh, I still remember when, when Roguelike first came out, and I remember going through this dungeon, right? And getting to the last floor down here and it being so difficult. Of course, I think the pack did have, uh, I think it did have Lycanites, I seem to remember, but I remember the bottom floor being so difficult that I literally had to tunnel up underneath everything go tunnel underneath the spawners, which took forever because there was lava everywhere and all this. Tunnel underneath there to shut off the spawners. Like it was not my proudest moment of life. To say the least. Oh my gosh, this is not ideal. There's a spawner up there of something. Okay, I need to actually eat real quick. All right, what do we got? Junk. Actually, extremely junky on that one. That's okay. The nice thing is we're actually going to get some nether-related things out of here, too. That is rotten spear something. Uh, block of gold. We've actually got a lot of gold though uh, so far. Wow, we haven't found a single diamond. Normally you actually pull a lot of diamonds out of this floor. Uh, but we have just gotten started, so we shall see. Alright, what do we got over in here? We're finding a lot of like veteran mobs and stuff. Yeah. A lot different than the like weeks that we were getting on some of the, the uh, upper floors so what do we got depth strider 3 let's take it and uh, that's actually it for this wing so we're gonna head back go ahead and block that off too of course that's where they're able to drop down from so uh, but used to, these these floors were actually a lot different, too. The last floor, that is a creeper spawner. Um, the last floor had uh, these rooms. I know they still have the big rooms, but they used to be a lot bigger. And they had so many spawners hidden in them. Uh, I feel like that last room has gotten a lot more time. Because there used to be, like, you would go into the last room. And no joke, there would be, like easily 50 or 60 mobs in there and it was like blazes and wither skeletons and all the most horrible possible things that could be in a room um, but this this is actually pretty easy right now not gonna lie i think one of these will have a is it the one with the lava in it that can spawn i don't think so though because the lava would kind of counteract the spawning Maybe there's not one, but I was thinking, oh, what's wrong button there? Eh, maybe not, maybe not. Okay. Well, let's push on. And right now we are at Y13. So this is diamond layer. We can pull out diamonds from here if need be, though we probably do have enough diamonds now. I went through here, really? Oh, yeah, it's that. Okay. Wait a second. Is that a... Oh, that's zombie. From a distance, it looked like... Uh... Oh, the one little guy's from Lycanites. The uh, little spider things. This always makes me real nervous, too. All this lava everywhere. Because, like, all it takes is, like, a stray shot from a skeleton to send you flying off to your death. Which, I'm trying not to die a ton. We had done, actually, extremely well, but 
all good things must end, I suppose. This would actually be a really fun pack, though, to do on Hardcore. You know, we did RL Craft on Hardcore, up to the point, basically, where we were unkillable, and then it was like, well, there's not really much point in continuing on. Uh, plus, I wasn't really a big fan of RL Craft in the first place, to be honest. Let me check these just to see. Uh, because it was kind of just more of a swarmy pack. Um, this pack I'm enjoying quite a bit, to be honest, so far. Um, it's very, very balanced. I mean, granted, we do need to get somewhere with higher level mobs. Either that be further out or just to another dimension. But even still, I'm having a blast with this. Uh, because even these level 3 mobs are balanced more than most packs. Like, for the difficulty of like where I'm at right now. Um, wow, this floor, we're not finding anything. Sometimes it happens like that. Sometimes you just don't find anything. But to be fair, I'm not really finding very good loot either. I mean, we're getting some diamond pieces out of here, but those are basically worthless to us for another, like, 11 levels. So, it's going to be a while. To the point I will probably forget that I even have them by the time that uh, we can actually benefit from having them. I do not have much inventory space left, though. But we also only have, like, one wing left. All right, this one. No, that was the last wing, was it really? I guess it was. I guess we've explored all the wings now. Okay then. Yeah, because this one was just literally one spawner on this wing. So we didn't even get a big room. This was extremely easy. I, honestly, I think this was the easiest room or easiest floor out of all of them. Huh. Well, okay then. Uh, let's see, do we want to have a quick peek around just to see if we spot any diamonds, like, pretty close by? Because I don't, I don't think I want to do, like, a big mining excursion right this second, because I actually think we have the diamonds that we need, but I can't really go up any higher than where I'm at. Oh, actually, no, this would be a good spot, as long as I don't get myself drowned down here, but... And as long as there's not, like, terrible Lycanites mobs down here or something. Is that emeralds? No, that's something else. What is this? Uncommon ore block. Oh, wow. For some reason, I didn't think about them being able to spawn as ores. I thought, I was thinking, like, just from mobs and stuff, but... Oh, but they take it. I can't mine them with a gold pick. GG me. Uh, we do have an iron pick. We might be able to mine it with that. Yes, we can. I actually had forgotten that I was running a gold pick. We do finally have a little bit of durability damage on it, though. And we did find our very first diamonds, but it's right by bedrock, so we're probably only going to pull, like, two diamonds from it, but that's okay. I don't need that many, uh, to be honest. So. Like I said, I, we probably have enough right now. So, since I don't have better water breathing or anything, I'm probably going to just head up. Because we're probably fine right now. Yeah, the bottom floor, I mean, the loot wasn't that great, to be honest. I mean, it's fine. Not a big deal. Um, I was kind of anticipating it to be a little bit harder and a little bit more uh, loot than what we pulled. But it was actually extremely easy and still decent loot considering how easy it was. So... Well, we got over a stack and a half of common ore out of there. And we do have a lot of ender pearls uh, at this point. We've got, with what's in our drawers as well, uh, we got like two stacks of ender pearls at the moment. So, Okay, so all in all, uh, we pulled out all of this stuff today. I'm not going to go through everything, but we pulled out a lot of things. Oh, we can actually use, uh, I might as well keep that on me, to be honest. Uh, now, we do now have enough diamonds, barely. But we do have enough. Uh, so let's take this. And I think I'll have... No, I have literally five. Okay. So. Didn't do as great on diamonds as I was anticipating. But that's okay. We got enough for what we are going to be doing. Uh, now we did complete this quest here for eight legs. We get a thousand XP and an armor crafter's crate. But let's go ahead. There's a thousand XP for us. And we got... Uh, let's see, new pants. I'm going to go ahead and just equip them, because they're halfway decent, because this one, not long for this world. Uh, we got unidentified rare chest plates. 
some cloth pants, some runed plate greaves with two rune slots, but level four and we don't have any runes yet. Actually. Uh, but let's go ahead and identify this. I may actually equip it for right now. Uh, level four, six armor, nine health, plus 11 armor, plus 4.4 percent health uh, plus 3.8 strength and 3.2 stamina that's actually pretty good to be honest and it will bump our armor up yeah we'll go ahead and equip that um we might look today and see what it takes to make the repair station also um, now there was a quest here for which actually i feel like the repair station there might be a quest for that uh, but for this we just need three furnaces crafting table okay so let's go ahead and get this there is our gear modify station and this is of course for applying these uh these upgrades and things transforms a common item we'll have to see about that oh i love the uh the graphic on that it's pretty nifty okay uh do we want to try the Orbital transmutation real quick to transform a common item. Let's see, do we have any like decent common items? Like these chainmail leggings, maybe? Let's go ahead and transform that. Hoorah, we got unidentified rare leather pants. Rare leather pants? Those are totally chainmail. <laughs> totally chainmail. All right, what do we got? Uh, dodge of 17, health of 9, dex of 1, stamina of 1, and frost resistance. Okay, not bad. Higher level than me, but not bad. Uh, so it does seem like they do keep their level, which I like that. Uh, so we can kind of use those for uh, stuff that's a bit higher than us. And we got 4,500 XP and an identify tome for that. No, we got eight identified tomes, so we're up to 21. Actually, we have a few more back in here. Uh, four more back in here, plus these. I should go ahead and move them over. Uh, now, I don't want to do the chaos stat or secondary stat. These are a little bit more expensive um, and things that I'd rather wait until we have some pretty good armor and it's taking us a little bit longer to level or until we feel like we actually need it, you know? All right, now at this point... Uh, I mean, there's a couple easy quests that we could knock out for some easy XP, but uh, the Bumble Zone. Crafted Exile is focused around a dimension progression system. While you could stay in the overworld until level 30, the Bumble Zone is a recommended zone for level 14 to 18. So we'll be a little bit low, but uh, the recommended levels for each dimension are as follows. Overworld is 1 to 30, Bumble Zone is 14 to 18, Nether 16 to 26, in 26 to 30, Adam 30 to 40, Good Night Sleep 40 to 50, Tropicraft in Midnight 50 to 58, Gaia 58 to 74, Maps 30 through 99. To get to the Bumble Zone, throw an Ender Pearl at any bee nest or beehive. You can leave the Bumble Zone by digging down or climbing above Y 20, uh, 256. The Bumble Zone is an optional dimension. If you want to skip it, feel free to complete taking the long route to access the Nether instead. And the Wither is considered the end of Dimension Boss for the Nether. And we can make a Gear Scout a Salvage Station as well. Um, I tell you what, I know it's I know it's wrapping up point for this uh, this episode. So we're going to end this one out here. Next episode, when we come back, we've done our roguelike. We've got that out of the way. So I think next episode, we might take a look at getting some staves, uh, getting the Gear Salvage Station, and also probably the Gear Repair Station. Because um, I think at this point, it would be... A pretty good idea to get that maybe and see what that's all about and we are also I think going to go to the bumble zone because that's gonna give us some better mobs we could travel out pretty far but we'd have to go pretty far at this point to get to mobs that are of our level uh, so I think we're gonna go we're gonna go on to the bumble zone come next episode and check that out but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed the episode I'm actually really glad to have our roguelike out of the way at this point uh, everything kind of cleared out and be ready to progress into deeper dimensions so anyways i hope you guys join me for that in the next episode and until then as always do take care stay safe i'll see you guys next time